This episode of That Boy's Got Knowledge was recorded at the House of Bombshell, located at 3601 Clarks Lane, Baltimore, Maryland. That boy got knowledge season two. You know, you know the whole crew. We got Rustique in the Benz representing that girl got knowledge. Mm -hmm. Today's guest, who we got, no other than. It's a banger for real, y'all. <laughs> Nacho <laughs> bangers, one bite tastes like love. Let's get busy, y'all. Shoot, man. I know that's right. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the energy we need for season two. You feel me? Man, give me a breakdown, man. Who Eric Williams, man? Well, Eric now. Williams, oh man. Young kid out the ghetto, be all statistics, they came came to him and just kept going. You know, a life changer, a change maker, the real deal. Right. A business owner, a restaurant, a restaurateur, um, a father, a husband, mm. an influencer. Come on, influencer. You know, this is a person that's gonna keep building. We builders, not leaders, influencers, not infiltrators. Go. Okay. Okay. That's Eric Williams for you. The man got the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got the whole elevator piece. Yeah. Okay. Nah, right. Shoot, bro, commercial ready. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Williams, man. Yeah, 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 man. Like, we in September, so August, yeah, July. July would have went and really went crazy. I started launching, started collabing with different companies, different brands such as colleges and small businesses and things of that nature. And uh, we always had to wave with the neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. My main mission statement is to satisfy hunger in urban communities. Mm. Got you. So that's where I came. I've always been in urban communities because it was growing up, you had to take a bus to get to Chipotle. You got to ride a bike to get the Taco Bell. So I wanted to make convenience for people to eat some gourmet nachos. Man, we had too many of those. Nah, food trucks, man, man. I, I always yeah. say this, man. I always say this, but yo, you being real humble right now. Like, yo, get down to the <laughs> roots. Like, uh -huh. yo, use out there, use that on the blocks, home, home making your food, selling yeah, it, sell it in the corner, uh, out the kitchen. Right out the kitchen, no hot water, no gas, so I'll shake microwave, you know, um, microwave in a hot pad. I started like July the 15th, 2016, shut out the house. Say to play the nachos on social media. I said, oh, I can make this. Yeah. I just got out of high school in June 2016. July the 15th, 2016, I seen to play the nachos. I was doing a fast. You know, you get out of high school, it's like, go to college and do yeah. this. Yeah. Man, my best friend started, right? So my best friend. I just got stopped, stopped trapping and all that. My best friend was like, um, let's do college, bro. I'm taking the influence and information. What if, so I'm doing the college things. You know, he got to support. I don't got no mother house I can go to. Mm -hmm. There ain't no grandma, no big mama, no father. I ain't had nowhere I can go to. Mm -hmm. So I was like, man, listen, I don't want to pay no debt. I'd rather make my own debt. I'd rather build my own money up. Mm -hmm. So I seen to play the nachos on social media and um, everybody doubted me. Don't believe like the drain just came around and people wasn't, was all oh, with it. No, nah. no, nah, he crazy. Mm -hmm. Man, fool. Come on, killer. Yeah, I had a nickname, bad. Yeah, neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, minister <laughs> society. All on a box. All my juvenile life, everything. Baby book is everything. So, um, growing up, like it was just like a lot of things. Mother getting high, things that nature. I just wanted to not let that kind of way. You know, mm -hmm. no hot water on, no lights. Living in vacant homes. Uh, everything abandoned minimums. Everything living in side cars. So I always wanted. I knew I was gonna be great. Mm -hmm. Cause it was destined for me to be great. Manifestation. Yeah, manifestation. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually taking action on the manifestation. Right. Yeah, trap, take a risk and prosper, do everything. Mm -hmm. So um, with that being said, when I sit to play the nachos on social media, or such as Instagram, I said I can make these. I just had it in my heart. I can make it. Walk, walk um to a neighborhood close by, such as Glover, East Baltimore, and man, six customers like, yeah, bring that back. Bring that back. We need that. Mm -hmm. So I went in the house, got some trades from my aunt around the corner, went in the crib, my, my child mother house, made the nachos out of there, walked to the neighborhood, started taking pictures with everybody. Mm -hmm. Took my hand, pointed to them, people eating the nacho. I posted on social media. And this is how social media works. I, I did Instagram and Facebook 
post them six customers, six more came. Right. So I had 12 customers in one day, two hundred plus in one month. Mm. And I was going crazy from there. Every day I opened up Nacho Bank, it's never taken me for $500. Mm. Repeat that back, because I don't think they Every <laughs> day I opened up Nacho Bangers in my storefront, I never seen anything for $500. Mm -hmm. That's before, from July the 15th to 2016. <laughs> so the lifestyle from there was like, you know, the numbers was coming. I was making right. six figures in six months. Mm. Yeah, life changes situation. I didn't even know how to count. Mm. Yeah, money in the shoebox. What is this? <laughs> yeah, the bank. Please don't bring this money in here. You will go to jail. You bring this much money in. That's a fact. Yeah, bring it in this numbers. You got yeah. increments. Increments. Yeah, yeah, please don't never. What is you doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, I'm just selling nachos. <laughs> and they probably think you go to jail. Yeah, they thought I was doing the right thing. Doing though. the right thing. That's yeah. Crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah pause. Man. Please, young man, <laughs> don't do that. You good? It's like, what you? I'm in that mindset, but in the real world, like this learning entrepreneurship and growing, it got rid of my old ways. Mm -hmm. So entrepreneurship really changed my life. Ooh, so with your business taking off like that fast, how were you able to really keep up with it from going to like zero to 100? Literally. In I don't know if they can stop. So it was 100 since that's that foot. Mm -hmm. We always had the street cred. I was already well known and appreciated, so all it was just having, I always sold a good product. I started selling oils at a uh, at a mall. 11 hours out of the day selling oils. Hey, no, no, no. I was working for a Dominican guy, selling body oils. So by me selling body oils, I learned how to be a salesman. Mm -hmm. Hearing the no word. What kind of smell you like? Soft, fruity, clean, clean, fresh must. Mm -hmm. So I just always know how to sell things to people. And any product I get in my hand, I know how to sell it. So I was always a salesman, so it just came naturally like, Oh, nachos? Oh, yeah, let's get busy. That's life. It's a banger. And this mm. is my, it became my lifestyle. So that's where you got the name from? No, so nacho. No, I just taste, yeah, yeah, yeah. nacho. That's yeah, banger. nacho bangers. I know, but you said nacho. nacho. Oh, yeah, it's a banger. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Just like that. And, and you was like, dang, I don't gotta use that. Yeah, I'm yeah, running the gallon. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, how you even thought of nacho bangers? Oh, the customer's gonna let you know. You know, they always tell the people gonna tell you who you really are. Mm -hmm. The people will tell you who you really are in life. So, my mentor, Dark Falcon, he always shared with me, like, man, the people won't tell you who you are. You'll learn. I'm like, I never got it. To the people that's, man, thank you for changing my life. I'm like, huh? Oh, I changed your life? Yeah, your story. Mm. Yeah, change them. You're one of a kind. You know you're nothing like no one else. Not people like that, so, I, I started living my life like, wow. Oh, I am somebody different. I used to always compare people to me, like, yeah, you remind me just like myself. No, nah, nobody remind me of me. Mm -hmm. No one went through that struggle like I went through. And so a lot of entrepreneurs that grew up and they ask me, um, how do I start a business? I tell them, just start. I said, learn a product, learn what your target going to be, and go for it. Because nobody went to school with the people you went to. Mm -hmm. No one got the same family members you got. Mm -hmm. so people want support. No one met the same people you met. People want to support you. And that's what I give the entrepreneurs. So how beneficial do you think having a mentor is? Oh, mentors are very beneficial. And I always ask them good questions. Right. Because they still going to do life changes as well. So you want to look at a mentor that got his shit on the iced tea together. <laughs> yeah, a male or female, because a lot of them be, you know, BSing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they, they be jealous, they be envying you. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful with mentors. You, you got to be, listen, trust a person who they truly are. Right. Yeah, not, you got to understand, truly being a peer to be. A lot of people appear to be things that they are. Right. So sad. Yeah, so trust people who they truly are. Man, that's dope, man. You know, like, being from Baltimore, we always get this title as like, man, a crab full of bull for a buck, a uh, crab in a battle of a buck. They always pull people down and yeah. stuff. How you even made it out that way? How you even get a chance to make? Because now you you global now. Yeah, so global. Just, so mm. the mindset I always have for Nacho Bangers is to get it up there near the crab. Yeah, mm. have a stick, <laughs> have a stick in the city. Build a brand so big that they gotta know who you is. They gotta travel to come yeah. to you. Cause they love you outside the city. Yeah, man. they have yeah. to. Yeah. Because I built a brand so big when you think about Baltimore, now you think about nachos. You think about crabs. Mm -hmm. Okay, the biggest thing is get through food. Go do music. Mm -hmm. I went through music. Yeah, I touched every artist. Yeah, the meat mills, everybody. I touched them off of nacho bangers. Yeah, the urban community, go do the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I shipped the food right to the music. Every studio I'm there. Cause they need that. They need it. Nobody out late night. Yeah, nah. chopping up. I'm in studios. Mm -hmm. Hot pan microwave. Mm -hmm. Studio comp pan. Shout out to Rab. You know. Um, awesome, though. Getting busy, man. In them studios. So with all this, all this influence you got. Now you just mentioned being crabs in a barrel. 
Crabs don't belong in Burrow stuff, so what are you doing to change that? That's a good question, Dom. <laughs> he said, uh, so to change that is um biggest thing is learning self care, learning where you want to go, understanding when you're going, and not giving up. Mm -hmm. Not giving up. The quote I shared earlier: One day life asks death, why do people love me and fear you? Death replied back, because I'm such a painful truth in life. You're a beautiful lie. Mm -hmm. So you gotta live life in full effect. I'm, I'm more than now, man. Yeah, and just keep going. And that's why we put that on there. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat that one more time so they can catch it. <laughs> 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 he said it's so cool, so too. The quote, the one day part. life acts death. Why do people love me and fear you? Death replied back because I'm such a painful truth and life, you're such a beautiful lie. So this life is just a beautiful lie. It's a favor to us. So live it in full effect. Keep going. Don't never give up. And j -Mo. Bars. <laughs> like bars. Man, you can say yourself a uh, a staple in your city now? You locked down? I say the staple in uh like especially staple in the city, but it's bigger than it's bigger than the city, you know. It's uh Tupac said it best. I can't change the world but I can spark a mind that can. Mm hmm that So um I'm definitely gonna spark minds that can yeah. change That's the world. Cool. It's just not only me. Nah. So it's a culture thing, I'm changing the culture. Yeah, you, you definitely a hustler, like you using your street. Your street cred, your hustle ways, and you taking it into the food business. Cause now you just, you ain't just touching Maryland. You you going DC, yeah, yeah, you going Florida, Atlanta, Cali, LA. Atlanta. So you and, and you and you, you in that food truck just riding. Yeah, riding, grinding. You know, um, and the biggest thing about hustle is how you secure your true life experience, mm -hmm. how you survive your life every day. So that's the hustle when you really going for it, mm -hmm. what you want in life. Man, what gave you this mindset? Like, what made you like, Man, like wake um, up and like, yo, this is what, this is what, whatever. I'm this, I'm, I'm like, I'm locked in. Now. It go back to the story when I tell you I don't have no one. Mm -hmm. There's no going home. There's no mother house. There's no father house. I don't got no. Yeah, I can go here and stay. Nah. Yeah, when you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you overstayed your welcome. Mm -hmm. You eating up all the grub. <laughs> I'm chubby. <laughs> I'm eating up all the grub. Yeah. So that mindset, not really having a place to go, and uh, it's been a gypsy all my life, <laughs> house to house. You know, got a bag pack every time, not really having things. Yeah, I know that story. I don't got no baby pictures, fam. Mm. Like, yeah, you can't find me. There's no baby pictures of me. Yeah, houses got burnt down, things of that nature. There's no baby pictures of me. In and out the system, there's no baby pictures of me. Hey, man. So man. that's what I mean. Like, that's what you gotta keep going. That's where I got the drive from. Gosh, man, now when you get your family and you start your... Immediately, yeah. yeah. So it's like the youth, you got pictures of them showing you yeah. your boys how, how it's supposed to be in the grind. That's how you start. Yeah. That's how you grow. Gotcha, man, gotcha. So, pretty, that. so pretty much how you grew up gave you something, I guess, not to do as far as your young ones? Uh, circumstances, right? I, like the circumstances, I ain't make them as an excuse. I just mm -hmm. grew through them. Okay. Yeah. That's Man, let me change gears real quick, man. Let's get into the culinary stuff. Like you, you, you homemade. Like you, know what I mean. Oh yeah, so cognite wise, there's no education behind a piece of nacho bangers. There was no school. It was no setting. Um, I'm gonna definitely give it to you. I did do a course in high school. It took me a lot in me because at the high school you want to go straight home, mm -hmm. get some food, <laughs> leave with everybody else. But it was one day somebody was like, uh. In school, I, I, did, I took up child care. The lady was like, man, ain't nobody gonna want you to watch their kids. So she touched me in such a way. And I'm like, I'm gonna go do this car night class now. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. feel me? So I started doing the car night class. They just taught me how to cut some patterns and stuff. It wasn't too deep. You gotta slice this. Yeah. Thing. So I was always know how to cook some noodles, you feel me? Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, that's yeah. the hood way, right? Yeah, yeah, so made some nachos. I just put Doritos down. Ground beef, shredded cheese, seasoned right well, you know. Yeah, I was like, get it to your signature. It was up. Get it to your signature. It was up. Get it to your signature. Yeah, I dish. first started with the nacho. You got a wrap to go with that? Wrap? You can make that. <laughs> so the main thing, I went to, uh, how I came with the nacho. Banger, you eat the nacho three ways. You eat it with a tortilla, your choice of meat, put the queso on there, the special sauce. Put the sauce on there. <laughs> oh, you put the Doritos in, you eat it with the Doritos, you wrap it up. To a burrito, so eat the nacho three ways: a full bag of Doritos, wrap it all the way up to burrito, right? So what made me get the cost? I went to Chipotle one day, and I'm like, "Can y'all put the bowl? Can y'all put the tortilla in my bowl in first? Bowl, I do that all the time. So he was like, "Yeah, we can do that." I'm like, yo, hey. put the tortilla in the nacho. 
Put the meat in there. That's how you make a banger. Because everybody, Chipotle don't give you that. Just, you have to make your bowl like that. So I was like, yo, why not just get a people just that? Mm -hmm. It's Steve, you don't have to, don't be too greasy at the bottom of right, nothing. Right. The tortilla catch everything. Like that. That, that, so I'm that. like, wow, man, put that in your business. Mm. And I just turned it up a notch. And I kept, that was my signature dish, nacho, a nacho banger. So since you like all about turning it up a notch, I know you want to like, you know, do better than you did before. Where do you see yourself in like the next five years or so? Oh, just uh, five years? Cause a lot of youth got a lot of youth doozy ass. So I'm like, nah, I'll get it done in two. I'll get it done in three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, so I see myself um having unique spots, and I tell you, satisfy hunger urban community. So having nacho banger platforms in certain communities and areas such as different states, mm -hmm. that's a staple. But basically, going through colleges, you know, mm -hmm. start there like first. start yeah. colleges, HBCUs, having the food inside certain colleges, um, tapping into the soccer market, mm -hmm. tapping into the uh the golf set, the baseball set. As well, and t teaching black and brown kids like this is a well sport we can get in as well, mm -hmm. and teaching them that lifestyle, and really um real estate, which is next for me, mm -hmm. um, buying things. That's why I bought food trucks. It's a start of real estate. I don't own on anything. Mm -hmm. It's all me. So if I want to sell it, I can sell it. You know, if I want to pass it down to my kids or something, or we'll pass it down to a, a youth that's growing, I can pass it down. Mm -hmm. So my first thing of real estate, I own a food trucks. So I own things. You building a legacy. Yeah, legacy. So the main thing, um, that's why I see myself going, is owning things. Um, my biggest thing is having units, like live workspace, like John Hawkins do it, live work. They live there, they work there, everything. Mm -hmm. So having a nacho banger food truck right out front of the apartment complex that I own. Mm. That way you can take youth from different states and bring them somewhere. That's like college, basically. That's Living in a dorm is a food truck that they can work on and get it. Mm -hmm. So one thing about a restaurant or anything, you got to think about how much money it brings. You got a delivery service such as DoorDash, Grubhub, everything mm -hmm. in that nature. So that gives jobs to people. Right. You know, they got to get the food out the truck and take it to people. Um, also give jobs to the people that just travel there. Like, yeah, I can work there. Everything, maintenance and everything. So my biggest thing is giving employment. And change the lives of employment. They teach three skills: culinary, financial literacy, and character building. Mm. Mm. <coughs> I don't got the wrong. She was speaking on like being like starting the foundation. Uh, it's all start with a foundation. Um, mm -hmm. and that's that's the groundwork. And the way I move so fast. If I get it done in two years, mind you, still said five, so I still surprise people. Mm -hmm. Like, he still, really got it done in two, though. Two, but I told you five. Yeah. Yeah. So you still gonna love me and respect me. Like, hey, he still did it, though. That's, that's weird. You got other shit to do, too. Yep, and it's still going. And that's what, that's what gets you, because once you complete the goal so early, it's like, what's next? Next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gotta keep things going. You gotta keep things above what you got already. Mm -hmm. Like, you in debt. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, still got to pay this off, though. <laughs> still got to get this. You still got to complete that goal. So having multiple goals and it's taking, and it's going crazy with them, achieving them. So how far does your plan go? Like, how far do you see? Cause we oh, like to, to, oh, to a law come, you know? Mm -hmm. From a law we come from, from a law we retire. So to I go. Mm -hmm. like that one. <laughs> 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 like that one. like that one. That's what it is. Legacy. <laughs> Yeah. You said legacy? Legacy. Yeah, you're yeah, trying, trying, trying to build that generation of wealth. Generation wealth for sure. And uh, this is being a part of history. Mm -hmm. yeah. You sure? You are making the dinner in right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Shoot, you touching bases, boy. You are, even just look on your uh, social medias and your, and even the stuff you give back to the community. I mean, you people know. Yeah, they know. Harry Williams, though. People Harry know it. Yeah. People know uh, Nacho Banks. Nah, yeah. Harry Williams. <laughs> yeah, people yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, it took me a lot to even touch on my name, right? Because I grew up on the name Killer mm -hmm. all my life. It's Killer, 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 Killer. So I turned a negative name to positivity. Mm -hmm. Don't look at me like that. Nah, this is me now. Yeah, yeah boy. I, boy, you was on Shade Room. Yeah, Shade Room was. Ah! <laughs> boy, that's like you want to cross BT awards. It is, my God. Right right yeah, there. you gotta think about like our demographic. Uh, mm -hmm. Man, you come and do the Shade Room. Oh, you, red, you famous and rich. You something special. <laughs> so it was like, man, that's for the car. It was big. And check this out it was for positivity for Baltimore City. Mm -hmm. So it made everything come out way better. Like, oh my gosh, Baltimore finally getting a name. They finally get recognized for positivity. Mm -hmm. It ain't about no 
this person got stuck messing with that person. That person getting locked up. That was famous. No, I bought him. Well, look at us. He's shaking things up. Positivity. And you're also changing the narrative, too. Like, all right, okay, I ain't got to play a sport to make it out. I, yeah. can, I can touch on this and yeah. touch that. You yeah. Know? Different avenues. So that's dope. Well, speak to and touch on different things. Touch I just want to spend my life with you all day. You say that you love me. Is it true? You say I'm no only one that's all for you. Okay. Make me feel a way. Make me feel a way. And we back. The call of the day, J Mo. I'm never free. I make time. So respect my time when I give it to you. How you feel about that? Oh uh, man. Never free. But I make time. So respect my time when I give it to you. That's so strong, right? Cause I just posted like when I get to a certain point in life and you can't reach me, don't get mad at me. Mm. Right. Yeah. So so how do like, you manage your time with your family? Like your oh. boys and stuff and your girls, your daughter. So I, I live in Godspeed. Like, I definitely live in Godspeed. Like if this is meant for the time to be, I'm gonna let it go. So I plan the days out of how it's gonna go, but I just live it. I got you, got you. So like I feel like it seems like you don't have enough time for your family, do you? No. Oh, it's no, definitely. Do you, do you, do you stuff with your boys? Or um, you teach them? You know? Every Monday we are. Okay. Every Monday we off. I'm I'm pretty much spending a lot of quality time with the family. And I'm learning that because they my family is like my exhale. I inhale so peace. much. Peace, yeah, I inhale so much. So the family is exhale. Yeah, that's the peace, that's the time, that's the energy you give with everybody. So yeah. So you gotta have family now, but before you got a family, in order to get a family, you gotta have a relationship. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So as an entrepreneur, is it hard? Or easy to date and build a relationship? Uh, you know, starting out your bangers actually ruined my relationship. Mm. Like being an entrepreneur, having that type of drive and that time and having a extremely focused. So my word of focus is finish off the course until successful. Mm. So by me having extremely focused, I was like, it's all it's all in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm eat, shit and sleep and think about this. Mm. Yeah, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't I can't have time for sex. I'm sorry. Yeah, so it was like mentally oh, yeah, growing, <laughs> growing into that mindset of knowing what I really wanted in life. It it broke up the relationship. And if you wasn't on this train, I don't know. You gotta get up. Yeah, oh. take care. I use that same method, that train method. What's that? What's that train? <laughs> <laughs> take care. <laughs> yeah, take care. Don't say Drake. Take care. Take care. If you don't want it, Yeah, so um, a lot of it's, it's part of growth. Get rid of your old ways. So a lot of people, when you growing. They ain't gonna understand your change. Mm -hmm. If it don't, if it don't, if it don't challenge you, it won't change you. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things I was going to challenge being a young entrepreneur, age of nineteen, growing through business, having a baby on the way, things of that nature. Uh, Post-traumatic stress disorder also through the relationship with, with the child mother of mine. She was going to postpartum depression, mm -hmm. things of that nature. I haven't had the time for because I was worried about a business. Mm -hmm. That got me where I'm at today and worrying about securing the future that this baby right needs. So yeah. she ain't see the big picture though. No, she was stuck on me being a nine to five guy working at Rainbow USA. Not Rainbow. Oh, yeah. I, was, <laughs> I, was Rainbow. I was at Rainbow. Rainbow. I was at Rainbow. Yeah. No. I know hey, still. listen. That's, that's I, I, down south right there. I, 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 I thought I, 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 I applaud you because you, you came out you came out the you came out the mud for real. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Man, um, no jobs. They can fire you. Mm -hmm. Things of that nature. So having a job, got to wake up. All of it is teaching you structure and time and planning. Mm -hmm. So I took that same job mentality and put it into my business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This time I work. This time I get busy. So hindsight, look hindsight, looking back, what would you tell yourself, or what would you give advice on how to like handle yeah. girls, or handle having kids, That's and handle all of that, like being an entrepreneur, a growing entrepreneur? Oh, then. growing entrepreneur, I tell them like uh, <laughs> self care, study on you, like learn yourself, have your fun, take those times like for fun, and make sure you have good fun, but be careful. Yeah, a lot of that mean don't yeah. have kids at a young age. Learn your discipline with you. Yeah, <laughs> learn your discipline with your and watch your tongue, mm. cause your tongue gets you some places and your dick gonna follow up. Mm. So be careful with your tongue. So where, tough. yeah, where it will lead you? Because some things are just a momentarily, it's just a feeling, and you'll find yourself somewhere in a relationship that you're not or you want to be. Right. 
And speaking of that, because you are so young and you know, right now the culture is, I want a nigga with money or I want a nigga with this. Like, how do you handle all of this? Mm. Like, do you have these females that are like yeah. trying to come on you now because you got the money? Yeah, you, yeah, you, <laughs> you up now. They like the money. Yeah. 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 Hey! Yeah. I always get a quote he ain't chubby, he ain't hubby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah. so the lifestyle with that is just learning who you are. It's the discipline within self. Cause they gonna uh, they gonna come. For sure. Yeah, Especially temptation. Now. Yeah. yeah, temptation definitely gonna give it to you. All different kind of flavors. So um my main thing is like having that balanced mindset, like to really understand like, yo, is this gonna benefit you? Mm, Where do you thing. see it in life? How is really gonna benefit you? So it's about it's about the vision you got. Go with the female that's gonna be around. Even now you relationship with a woman. There's the homeboys and yeah, lick, like sometimes I had to lick my kids off for two months. Yeah, you gotta watch them. I can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm building this. This one ain't going on tour. Yeah, I'm in a store now. I don't got no employees. All of them fired. Yeah, I gotta work. You gotta work. Mm -hmm. you gotta do, so, that's, um, that's, your, that's, that's your baby. Relationships is like, wow. You like, see, the, you and, and you gotta be careful. Like, being young and yeah. hiring a woman, <laughs> oh, yeah, it get crazy. I'm young, so I got like, yeah, I'm hiring a 30 year old woman. Yeah. I'm hiring a woman older than me. I'm hiring a woman like close to my age. So it get real. Watch out, baby. It get real. <laughs> real tense. It get real tense. Yeah. yeah. So you got to learn the discipline of the tongue in your Ooh. Mm, spicy. Because <laughs> you talking. And what's the word when a woman love a man? Intellectual? Sapiosexual. Yeah, sapiosexual. So be being intellectual. And knowing well, it's like I like they, they fall in love. Fall in love with that. Just the way I talk and how I'm influencing them and giving them the right information in life. Because yeah. it's a banger. For real, <laughs> y'all. It's a banger. <laughs> so you got yeah. So like I, t like I feed them. I feed them. I feed them a lot of ways. I feed them mentally. I feed them with food. Mm. Yeah. So you got to be real careful with the influence and information that you get to people. Yeah. Yeah. So what type of if you can make. The perfect woman to fit you and your vision. What would she look like? Sure. Build your own uh, what she look like? She look like my wife now. I know that's right. That's the right answer right yeah, there. She look like my wife now. You know, shout to Mia. You know, uh, she look like my wife now. Someone that's able to grow with you. Someone that really able, that's able to uh, understand your vision and jump on board and get in that kitchen with you and grind. Right. And she execute while well, like I'm mocking and I promote it, but she really the one that, that hold the labor down. Yeah, yeah the, the sweat is she in there. She the one you can pass it there. Yeah, this is you. Mm -hmm. Get busy. And hey, can you pour into me right now? Then we gonna pour into you. Yeah. So have your plans together too. Right. Cause after we pour into me, we gotta go straight on you. you. Right. So mine's the business and things, but hers is real estate and interior design. Mm -hmm. It all go with the vision that we building. Right. So it's all about growth. Look, look, look. He just gave. <laughs> so um, yeah, the ideal woman that'd be her, you know, um, a great mama, and something. That's what I do though, cause you, I, I play the fool a lot, and that's what any business, any relationship, you gotta play a fool, cause you don't mm -hmm. want to be the smartest. Exactly. So you gotta be careful, cause you can you can run people off of being too intelligent. Mm -hmm. So what I do. When she feel like like enough is enough for her and she been doing a lot, I start picking it up. Like I catch it, oh she ain't washing the dishes, I got it. Yeah, she ain't sweeping the floor right, I got it. Yeah, she ain't doing this, I got it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I take it oh the pillows, she ain't pick the pillows up right, she ain't do that, oh I got it. And I don't even bring it up because I know what everything that she's great at, you know, so I don't even use nothing again. Like, why you ain't do that? Why ain't you? No, I got it. No, so yeah. So you always gotta you always gotta just have that. That's the protection for a woman Man. that he got me. If I'm feeling sick, if I'm not feeling good, this is the protection that woman need. That 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 reassurance, like, oh, he got me. So, the physically, the mental, the financially, you all any relationship I get into, I always we both want to win out of this, no matter what. I ain't gonna hold your DM might be booming after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You probably yeah. already is. Yeah, both of us. Both of us. So, uh, yeah, it's just like. Relationship wise, you know, and it's just real conversation is everything. Conversation. Conversation. Just keep the reassurance great in the relationship. And sometimes the person ain't always meant for you. But for that journey, mm -hmm. that that time right there, you gotta win everything in your moment. Seasonal. 
You said seasonal? Seasonal. Yeah, it is. Some people are seasonal. Right. And some people lifetime. You can fail it though when it's a lifetime when it's seasonal. Season, right. But relationships, I'm talking about relationships such as people. So now you have to learn relationships and results. Right. So when you bring people inside your world, right. I call it your world. When you bring people inside your world, understand what you're getting off of them and what they're getting off of you and your world. Right. Because mm -hmm. you need that. Yeah. Definitely need that. Yeah, and then, then you want to kill it up. You want to kill it with class right, right up front. Yeah, this is what I'm getting off of you. Yeah, we doing this, doing that, and this the plans for me and this the plans that I got for you. How do it fit I'm glad you said it because I be doing that too and it just don't work. Because <laughs> 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 the real short, the yeah, conversation is everything. Sure. And, and you got to be top of that. You got to be top of good, great conversations. Like, me, I don't drink, I don't smoke or nothing. So my mind is never cut. Sound like him. Me, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm straight on it. And being young, I beat them statistics. Like, mm -hmm. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I ain't interested. That's cool. Yeah. But I even I, been I, selling it for good. a year. I, I did celibacy for a year. No oh, sex. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I did too, but like, you know, I forgot where I heard this, but uh, it was a business owner that was talking about, <laughs> I was talking about, I'm already, since he doesn't, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink, so when he goes into that business meeting, he's already two steps ahead of the person that does, because now I ain't got to go in there wondering, or do I smell like smoke? Did I drink too much? Now I have to focus. I'm already focused. I'm already locked in. I'm good. Now I'm two steps ahead of you because you were doing this, this, and that. Right. So I commend you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. What was that? Yeah. Appreciate that. So with all the like, you know how you talk about how you had like this business acumen, all of that. You got your acronyms. Like, how did you? Right. How did you develop all of these acronyms? These quotes. Like, how did you? Because you know you don't. I don't read just, either. That's what I'm saying. Like, no you know, books. It's, you know, you got to build intellect. You got to go through experiences. Like, so how did you? Translate all that. Oh, looking in the mirror talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking in the mirror talking to myself and, and throwing the motivational uh, videos on. The Eric Thomas, the Inky Johnsons. Mm -hmm. them, you know, uh, listen to a great mentor. I got Dark Falcon, you know. And it's this really listen to motivational speaking, getting around the right people. Shout out to Stokey. Um, mm -hmm. And it's sitting around these people, these intellectual people. And it's being inside their conversations, hearing them out. You know, being around um, the April Diva styles. Listen to these strong people, like I'm actually able to get around. Also, the young moose, you know, getting around these rappers and things of that nature, they story tell, like, they tell a story through their music. Mm -hmm. So, actually getting around and shout the rap, you know, getting around these intellectual people that actually got things and own things and just giving it to you. So, it's all this soap on me. And I'm like, wow. So, certain conversations, certain quotes I see on social media as well. <laughs> and I just take it all in. And I really bring it to life. Because at first, you'd be like, Oh, you just say mm -hmm. like that, but I know you do. Nah, you you, you didn't read it. So, so yeah, you what I do, and I, this is why I share with people, mm -hmm. I take the quality, not the whole conversation, because people can talk a lot. Right, right. So I take the quality out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I pick certain things. Yeah. There, God needed that. Ah, I, I got that. Yeah. So it's eat the, eat the, pretty much eat the meat, spit out the bones. Yeah. Right? Eat the meat, spit out the bones. Oh, I'm crazy. Because yeah. well, these two yeah, say right. for days. Yeah. 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 I thought y'all was man. Man, it's crazy you said because uh, I remember when I, when I first met you, right? It hit me with a straight quote. We was at uh, we, we were doing a pop up shop. Yeah. Down the outreach program, people out in parts were shout out to love is loyalty, loyalty love is, is love. Yeah, loyalty is love. You feel me? Yeah. Shout him out to my guy Dion. But yeah, I met him. With, he was serving the food out by myself on the dolo tip. Cause he was he was, cause at first he said well, try to uh, try this juice I just made some fresh cut some banger juice or something yeah banger juice that's cool that your grandmother can't even mess with me mm. yeah one sip will get you I heard I had like two sips yeah I know I know I had two sips but I was like yeah yeah I need give me, me two more he was like yeah right. he sold out I said what but he had a crazy slogan I forgot what you said <laughs> and I was just like no nah, I can't even be around him he played too much <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, so. I, I was just like, yo. <laughs> I mean, by the end of the day, I mean, it was cool. I mean, the vibe was there, you feel me? So when, when we locked in, I said, yo, uh, man, I, we got we to do some things. I said, yeah, man, I bet. He always been like that energized, burn you over Yeah, there. always. You know, so, and, and sometimes the energy can uh, turn people off. Because mm -hmm. they don't understand that kind of energy mm -hmm. and where I come from. Like, one point in time in life, I was face fighting. I'm, I'm mugging you. I don't know who you is. What's up? I'm with everything you you not with. So I was a demon in, in such a form. So to become out of that kind of shell, to grow out of that and really start being social, mm -hmm. a social butterfly, all this was an experience. So it was never in me. I always 
built it to be this. This why I'm gonna get it to people. Mm -hmm. I don't want to curse no more. I don't want to do this. So I start living a life that I wanted to live mm -hmm. and I wanted to have. Cause means you adapted to it. Yeah, I adapted to it. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. I let my circumstances right take over my life. Like no excuses, all adjustments. Mm -hmm. You came out of what you came from. Now you gotta adapt to a new yeah, situation. Yeah, it oh, and it scare you though. It do. It's, it's gonna be a tumbling rumble in your belly. You gonna feel it. Yeah, you gonna feel, yeah, feel it's like crap when they hit a girl. You heard me? It's gonna really hit you. Yeah, it's new. That's how you know you're supposed to do it though. If something scares you that much. You're probably supposed to go do that. I even got a favorite color if I see in a building or something or something like, oh yeah, it's mine already. It's orange. So if I see the color orange somewhere, I'm like, damn. Fam, I'm talking to a, a young lady, she got the orange nails. Like, yeah, this conversation meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not my favorite color. And like I go into like when I go to the uh, spots like for property that I go see or a truck I go see, it's always I gotta go in the basement or something because the orange color is somewhere here. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, this is my husband. Yeah, yeah, it's meant for me. I explained the mask got joint orange like that. Yeah, yeah great. That it just crazy. it's it's collision, it's color collision, you know, mm -hmm. like that gray, that orange, that uh, that it, white. Like, it hit different. It hit yeah. different. Right. You might be So imagine you see a bag of Doritos in the gutter of a building you right by, like, oh, it's my <laughs> building. <laughs> yeah, these nachos, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so you might be one of the most dangerous type of people. Cause I find myself to be the same way. Beautiful. You're a dreamer that knows how to execute. That scares people. Cause now you only got vision. You know how to execute on your execute, vision. Execute, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. my main thing is always take a risk and prosper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like, got nothing to lose, dog. Yeah, it's a trap. Take a risk and prosper out of it. If it if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Right. Just go, go do the process. Mm -hmm. Cause if you never took the chance or so how you or execute on the idea or take action on it, how would you know where it worked? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, had the same type of mindset as uh, Antonio McMillan. So oh, he yeah. told us about the uh, the CEO, the manager, and the employee. 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 Mm -hmm. So teach me that. You have the CEO mindset. So the CEO says a cliff, right? You see all these things you want on the other side, but you got on this side. You got CEO, you got manager, employee. Mm -hmm. Employees on this side looking over like, nah, I ain't doing that. that. I ain't doing that. That's a far jump. I might die. Too much of a risk. Gonna walk away. Manager, uh, I made a jump close to that before, but you know, I don't know. We may need to measure it out. We could get there. I'm not sure. See, he looks back at the CEO. CEO, CEO all right, right, oh. <laughs> all right, took the jump. So if you got too many of the other two people in your circle, that's gonna keep you from doing what yeah, you need to do. Dude, that's crazy because it's like when I walk in the kitchen, I'll be like, Why well, don't got it right? Like I need. Oh, they don't see it from my vision. Mm -hmm. They don't see it from my eye. I got a right. different kind of eye. Right. Yeah, I got a different kind of taste. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's weird. That it, it's, it's like, it's clean to them. But no, to me, it's not. It's not, not yeah. it. Because it's not, it's the eye that you get. Like, you got to make it with a lot of love. Yeah, you got a certain, I got a certain eye for things. Like, mm -hmm. you probably look at chains and necklaces or some people know watches. Right. Mm -hmm. And they know their jewelry. Mm -hmm. And they like, they got an eye to understand what it is. Like certain mm -hmm. conversations, people got an ear for it. They got a tongue for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. That's, that's what it is. Well, I got for my company. I got a management company, so I mean, you know. So I just be doing doing my thing, and then something when you just good at it, you just. I mean, I was never good at it, but I just kind of jumped in the fire, and I always learned from it. Started networking. That's how it all the stuff started. You feel me? So mm -hmm. we lock in on stuff like this. I mean, it's good to hear that. And I want to like go back to the quote what Jamo said. I mean, you never freak, but you choose to make certain time. Mm -hmm. So when when you choose to have that downtime, I know Aaron kind of touched on it a little bit. When you choose to actually have an actual downtime, like I'm just gonna leave the kitchen alone. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the family alone. I'm just going. I'm, I, I got. I gotta find my little my little piece. I gotta find okay. my little thing. Like, do what's, what's, that, what's something outside of besides like you uh, do to just to relax. Oh, I office a lot. I pray. I pray to be to Allah. Mm -hmm. You know, I give it to Allah. I pray. Um, affirmations. See everything I have and see everything I don't have. And um. I go sit in that water. I take a trip different states, and I um, enjoy the scenery. I enjoy different sceneries. Cause you gotta think about it. I don't drink, I don't smoke, mm -hmm. so I gotta have an outlet. Got an and outlet. then I don't want to just be around people when they got the wrong conversations or something like that, or I'm not even interested in it. So for South Kid, office a lot. I pray. I go sitting in my food trucks, and I go sitting in the store, and I just look at it. Mm. Like dang, I made it. I made it, and I picture things like what's next. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. So these are the things I do. Like on well, my free time, I ain't working, but <coughs> I don't like no world. <laughs> but on my free time, I just like I just like check on me. Like yeah, I'm really checking on me. Like yeah, this is what I got. This is me observing. Um, go sit in the closet by myself, sit in the bed, in the bed by myself. This. I just relax. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, just give everything to God. That's dope. Well, speaking of relaxing, you want to take a break? Relax. I just want to spend my life with you all day. You say that you love me, is it true? You say I'm the only one that's all for you. Okay. Make me feel. So, the real question is what is the future for Nacho Bangs? Well, the future for Nacho Bangers, um, it's gonna scare. Business are meant to be sold. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely sell a business. Yeah, sell a business. That's crazy. You like that? Yeah. That's how I sell think a too. business. That's how I yeah, think that's your too. baby feels like, you know. Yeah, it's your baby, but you got a bill. You got a bill? Yeah, you got a bill. I got you. So, what's what some of the things you got coming out? Oh, oh merch. Definitely, we got a lot of merch coming out. Need we got a tour coming out. Uh, it, we got a, uh, we got a, a, a campaign built to a million. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Campaign built to a million. You can click the link to donate. You can buy merch or you can buy some food. Gotcha. Yeah, build to a million. We're going to take it on a tour. And um, this, like, giving a lot of employment back. We got a bunch of new pop ups ready to come out. Pop up shops, new real estate that we own, mm -hmm. more food trucks. Um, and the crazy idea I got smart cars. So if you know what a smart car is, the little mm -hmm. cars, yeah. I'm tricking them out for the be around delivery services and go all the way yeah. crazy. Smart. Smart. Good on gas. Um, and I'm tapping back into like the yeah, you know, twenty hours for three days. <laughs> Good, I know. Listen, yeah, I'm just a big man in the car. <laughs> big, Look at, you got this dropping all, yeah, dropping yeah. all the pack, dropping the package. So um, this is a big like that's the challenge for Nacho Bank. Just seeing all these fun, creative things coming out, and just picking the brains, getting real creative with the brand, building strong content, building strong relationships, uh, connecting with uh, connecting with Doritos. Mm, well, no, no, no. Say it again. Connect with Doritos. <laughs> Dur say it a little louder. Doritos. Shout out to Doritos, Doritos. Solid Black 21. Right. I'm going to change. Make, you know, we builders, not leaders. Let's get busy, y'all. Doritos. Speaking, like speaking on speaking on that, though, talk about, that, talk about your deal with Doritos. Oh, Doritos. You know. So, talk, talk, tell me how they come in a bit. Oh, Doritos. We've been selling Doritos since the start. You know, always use their product. And uh, shout out to KBF Marketing. I had KBF Marketing actually got me up with Dion mm -hmm. and had that... Uh, had us cater they uh um the events. Uh -huh. Yeah, so KBF Martin, we went we went towards Rap Snacks. Rap Snacks they okay, they talked to us right well. Then we transferred right to Doritos. I did with Pepsi that the Pepsi eight week program went with Doritos. Doritos showed nothing but love shout out to those Doritos, Frito Lay, all of them appreciate y'all so much. So Dude. that sponsorship, that endorsement deal with them, silent black campaign, being a change maker definitely sparked the whole new world. Uh -huh. And they uh put me on all their platforms. Um, for promo reasons, I, I even made it to the shade runners we spoke about earlier. So, shade runners. So, yeah. can, you, oh, can you talk about how, like, having an uh, agency or having marketing like goes a long run? Ooh, yeah, you gotta spend that bag. <laughs> <laughs> they want their money. They do. <laughs> but it's always about great relationships. It is. Yeah, so, uh, like, some people see the vision, like, man, let me get this, let me get on him now. It ain't about the dollar. I know we gonna make some money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get him on, he get a deal. I know he gonna cut us a check. Mm -hmm. Just being the honest, being as myself, and that's what happened. Built a great relationship. Was giving like thousand dollars for like a month, thousand dollars a month. Yeah, them big checks came. Yeah, it's time. Mm -hmm. It's turn up a notch. You know, we still waiting on the big checks too. So it's like they coming. Yeah, they coming. And also, I'm making them. So it's, it's like whatever they give me it is extra. It's helping, and it's like I can match you. So um. Which is beautiful. So, franchising definitely. This is the next step. Nacho Bangers franchising different urban communities and uh, platforms. Definitely touching different states. Speaking on that, like, do you see yourself working? With, give me a couple people that you really want to work with, like that you. That you oh, have Slutty already. Vegan. Definitely want to snack with Slutty Vegan. I gotta make a Slutty Nacho. Uh, you dig what I'm saying? Gotta make a vegan banger for the vegan people. You know, eat real clean. So that's definitely coming up. That's actually what's new. Mm -hmm. Having a vegan option, mm -hmm. yeah, vegan chop sub, vegan nacho, go crazy with that. You know something different. Who really make a vegan chop sub? You never heard of. Never mm -hmm. heard of. 
Yes, yeah, yeah. nobody don't steal it because it's trademark. But um, <laughs> putting, that, putting that idea out there, giving them people a different option, and that's keeping the brand fresh. Right. Oh, they got vegan options. You got to get down there. Yeah, a whole nother campaign. It's a whole nother group. Yeah, company. I definitely want to get with Slutty Vegan, um, Big Dave Cheese Steaks, mm. uh, Doritos. Mm. Um, I'm connecting with them now, but I want to go further with the brand, too. Uh, just Dark Fountain, a whole homemade process. Uh Reef, neighborhood kitchen concept, what they got going on. Uh, Rick Ross, mm -hmm. you know, get him to franchise some banger spots. Wing um, stops, wing stops. Yeah, things of that nature. So check us too, he got that as well. Mm -hmm. And it's been a great wrestling tour, and it's meeting up with different wrestling tours that they only own hospitality companies. Because it's not about food, it's about hospitality. Right. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's about how you make it's a person, person feel, the feeling of it. So meeting great hospitality companies and being on those panels, sharing my story, how I built up, and it's changing lives. Speaking of story, can you uh share share uh, share a story that you, of somebody that like a celebrity or somebody that you met that was that was you like oh man that shit crazy I'm actually like oh man I'm gonna tell you what my mentor man Derek Falcon right mm -hmm. Derek Falcon right I paid this guy thirty thousand to mentor me because you got paid for people time mm -hmm. yeah being a kid yeah you you for enthusiasm all that kind of energy I was giving off I don't know yeah kindly normally mm -hmm. we do this so I wasn't really certain. So April came, April 2021, I linked up with my mentor, Derek Falcon. Um, I've been knowing him for years, but this time I really wanted to take things serious. So he made me pay him. Look, <laughs> 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 like you was hurt. You was yeah, hurt. He, like made he, said, <laughs> he made me pay him, but I also respected him through the, through the mm -hmm. trial, you know. I had to pay him for his time and service, and when he came in, he taught systems. He taught me systems and how to get out the kitchen and basically teach others and pull them up right. and get them a piece. Of nacho bangers, so he taught me system. He had my, my, I actually got more time with my wife now out of the kitchen. I built the system. System to save yourself time, energy, and money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, we built the system. We built teams up. Like certain employees gave them pieces of nacho bangers. Like hey, you got this position. Oh, we changed the uh, financial. What they was getting paid. Now they getting paid big time. You can work three days, get a hundred dollars a day. Um, you work six days, get a hundred dollars a day. Mm -hmm. So with that, we changed up uh, a lot of employment. We changed up the structure of it, uh, how the quality of the food will serve, mm -hmm. um, learning the, uh, the ounces, the food costs, and everything like that was right big. So I can I can put two hundred fifty dollars worth of food on a truck and know what I'm right make back. Mm -hmm. It's no yeah he gave that away. What this number is? No, nah. is this number we supposed to make? The food tell a story. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm glad you kind of touched on it a little bit. Yeah. That's a kind of the quantity, the quality, um, everything tell a story. So I tell those entrepreneurs that like the franchise and things, uh, learn your food costs. Mm -hmm. I learned because a lot of money I've wasted growing in the years of Nacho Bangers is food costs and inventory and employment. I didn't know, but you learn as you go. Right. So through COVID, how did that like impact? Yeah, we turned up. <laughs> oh, but I'm saying like food costs. Turned up. Look, 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 look. I'm so glad you said. Turned up. <laughs> yeah, we essential. But you know, I know, like for real, like COVID for sure, like impacted a lot of business. Yeah, delivery like, service. So I, I, I took, I took every. It, it took me into a major way doing delivery service. I shut down one of my stores during COVID. I shut down my big store it was on Miami Street for like three years. I shut that down. I start uh, jamming out a studio apartment. <laughs> Had to get back to the bases. Jamming out a studio apartment. Turned that up a notch. Bought a food truck. Did the process. Then after that, I turned towards um, got another pop up shop. Then grabbed another food truck in the process. All the COVID, we still in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We still gotta wear masks. Um, so uh, pandemic just turned me up a notch. It just gave you an understanding of curbside pickup and delivery service. Yeah. So I went with DoorDash, linked up with them, turned up a notch, and this is how I dropped it on. I'm gonna give y'all the gym. Yeah, let's make everything five dollars. Yeah. It's pandemic time. Yeah. Everybody getting a check. Make everything five dollars. Get the crowd coming. Dang. Yeah. Oh, you said five dollars. So we, we we went down on the on the containers. Right. We went down on the yeah. wraps. We went down with all that. It's not yeah, this made it five dollars. So people was coming. Then what we did, the yeah. numbers get to coming. Yeah, raise the numbers. Hmm. Put the taxes on. Supply and demand. Yeah, get raise busy. Smart. Give them more. Yeah, make small and large. Ooh. Trickling now. Yeah, yeah, small yeah. nacho. Large nacho, yeah, small yeah, coffee yeah. bowl, large coffee bowl. Right. Yeah, make the juices a little bigger. Now take it out of the cups, put it in bottles. bottles right. Make it more convenient. They can keep it. Smart man. For it don't spill and all that. Why the, why the dash has got to drive? Yeah, so everything's got real strategic. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Strategy. During the pandemic. So pandemic taught me strategy. Uh, taught me how to really win. How to Do what's important now. Work in numbers. Mm-hmm. Execution Ex- style. Yeah. 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 So it. you have any ideas of any location spots that you think about? Colleges. They, oh, they realize in college. Yeah, colleges. Full truck. Park yeah. everywhere. Go everywhere. Mm-hmm. Ain't plan. Take a tour. Mm-hmm. Full truck. Yeah, get them known. Right, Put bottom on the map. Okay, okay. And let them know we got good eats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the voice of the eats. Speaking of, speaking of colleges, I know, let me just switch it real quick. Promo, you say you do a lot outside of, like, you trying to change, or you say you do a lot for, like, for instance, you say you, so you do promo for music, and you do all that stuff, parties, yeah, you do me, all yeah, that. So, Tap into that lane real quick. Show also, me. what we do, like, you know, I got a whole team, a management team, like, all my guys, whole shout out to Cuffy, shout out to Lemon, shout out to, uh, Cuffy, my guy. TRG Bop, you hear me? All these guys got a voice on them, so we, one, two, one, two, hold up. It's a banger for real. The banger boys are the that we hear, y'all. So giving that energy. A lot of people don't know how to talk on the mic. The crowd be stiff. So a lot of crowd control we did. Um, and just getting them guys paid. Real money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Real money to host. Yeah, these these clubs and stuff, they pay guys like $50 a host. The host is one of the most important person in the club. Yeah, I thought it was that, like, not, I didn't know it was that cheap. I mean, yeah, certain people cheap, when you start like, off and things off. You, yeah, you, you really get, I, get that, I get my guys 200 yeah, night. Like, I don't care if it's three people in there, five people in there. Yeah, this y'all check. This how we getting on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we gonna start our own night. We gonna build this club. Also, with the science behind it, let's take all this clientele, build our own spot, save all the clips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, build our own business. Yeah, build our own hookah bar. Line everything out of this hookah bar for the people that know it already. Yep. So all you doing is getting all this clientele that's coming and building one day up. Mm-hmm. Then you get your own spot. Now it's your lounge you get. Everybody knew how you get your hospitality. Mm-hmm. So everybody gonna migrate over there. So everybody migrate. Oh, let's go to them. So I got we call we love Thursdays. Every Thursday. Chain. That's all the supply chain. Yeah, sneaky link Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> so it get real crazy, like everybody interested. Like, I gotta go in. What the boys got going on over there? Yeah, no rules. Everybody single to one a.m. Huh? Yeah, just tell us no if you don't want nobody touching. Oh. Yeah, get crazy. Cause you gotta have fun. Gotta be crazy. You came all here, paid twenty dollars. Just to stand around, just to be relaxed, listen to music and smoke hookah. No, I have fun. We entertain us. We're going to give you everything we got. Oh, that sounds like trouble. No, not <laughs> trouble. It's just like entertainment. Me, yeah. <laughs> like, it's busy. Me, yeah. So that lifestyle, that was definitely great. And I um, tell you, every conversation we have, I'm pulling the people up. Mm-hmm. That's what it's about. Pulling people up. Mm-hmm. Passing the baton. Helping them grow. Speaking of that, man, you give out a lot of advice. I know you touch on... I mean, like all ages and stuff. Yeah. What about the youth, though? What you try to do for the oh, youth? The biggest thing for the youth, you know, teach them not hate, man. Teach them how to really survive, mm-hmm. how to value your life, because life is cheap. So you got to teach them. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why I give them the acronyms. I go to them schools, I give them acronyms, because words going to stick with you more than anything. Mm-hmm. They forget about somebody's life story, but they ain't going to forget about a word that you give them. Mm-hmm. You know, so I just give them straight up rich, realize it can happen. Pull past them opportunities repeatedly. Trap, take a risk and prosper. Hustle, how you secure your true life experience. How you survive your life every day. Grow, my favorite one. Get rid of your old ways. You know what I'm saying? I give it to him just like that. He speaks to you like Wheezy on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just give it to him just like that. Like, mm. acronyms. Because you give somebody a word, they able to grow with that word. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they write that all down. Yeah, yeah they in the house. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> yeah, all that. Yeah, one of my one of my college professors at Shout Out Bowie State University, one of my college professors would always say young men tend to always miss the opportunity or never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. You're not like that. What do you think what do you think created that for you? They kill, keep it long and lefty, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Certain people you know you got saying? kill. Keep it long and lefty. Some conversations you gotta kill with and some of them you kiss, you keep it short and simple. Mm-hmm. Everybody ain't meant for your energy, so you gotta kiss. Like with John, I'm working. I can't keep talking to John at the food truck. There's a bunch of people behind him. Yeah, kiss. Keep it short or something. Yeah, give me your number. Yeah, Paul, what we doing? Keep it brief. Uh, I see you one day. My man, slide me to the side. Somebody told you you should have been rapping. Yeah, they told me that. I get that a lot. You know, but it was just a kiss. The part to keep it short or something. That's what I do in life for real. I don't pass on the opportunity. Yeah, let me kiss with him. Yeah, uh, uh, what's your name? Yeah, sports age. Uh, what you do for a living? Uh, uh, yeah. Let's build. Right. Yeah, this is my email. Yeah, send me this. I'll talk to you. Straight card him. Uh, 
Said, What's good? Let's build. Got right into it with the next day. Yeah, what you doing? Let's get straight into it. Send him like three people. Don't pass over no opportunities. No, Repeat. Yeah, he, he don't pass over no opportunities. No. And just getting busy. On that phone. I be on the phone 24. 7. Yeah. yeah. I be on 24. Yeah. I ain't talking to y'all. I be out at work. Yeah, he, 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 like I said, I, y'all need people like that. And that's why I tell you, trust people who they truly are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't be mad when they don't do. Respect what they do do. Mm-hmm. And it's keeping us that. You feel me? Don't throw too much on a person they can't really... Execute. People don't really understand that when you don't see that vision. Like you say, you touch on that business part. Like people don't really don't understand. Business. Every now, I'm telling you, that's why I live life in full effect. It's like a failure. You can mm-hmm. die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, die straight up. Yeah, you can die for sickness. You can die for gunshot. Mm-hmm. You don't know how you are dying. Mm-hmm. Your life is written down. From a law we come from, from a law we must return. So you never know. You gotta live in full effect. Like I don't play with this life. Mm-hmm. I give it all I got. Anybody I want, yeah, I'm gonna give you all of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know him. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, trust. Oh, you can't trust people like that, man. Trust who they truly are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you look like a snake. You got that kind of boss. You look like a yeah. Try to get uh, get out of here. Get out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just keep it going. Kiss. Keep it short and yeah. simple. That's keep what I'm, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna keep using that. It's yeah. crazy you say that too. I actually wanted to like ask you about that. Like, is there any people that you was like, man, I don't even know I want to work with? Yeah, you gotta take my lifestyle. Yeah. This wasn't always good for me. It was yeah. in and out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. home invasions, all that I was dealing. With. Yeah, guns on me every day. Yeah, the lifestyle like that, really going through it mentally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mentally challenging myself how to be positive. Exactly. So, um, yeah, the trust issues, you know, like I always believe if you can trust yourself, you can trust anyone else. Yeah. It's always trust within yeah. your gut. It just be hard when you, because you come from that life, you come from that lifestyle, so you be in that space. So when you actually start turning into like, yeah, business. the over the energy, ah, I gotta get out of here. Yeah. I'm here too long. Ah, let me get out of here. Really? No, I feel like boom. It's like gut <laughs> chasing. It's the gut feeling. For instinct, man, don't go that way. And so I tell you, don't come here. Yeah, stay home. I'm not coming. Yeah, that's it. That's a yeah, fact. Yeah, stay at home. That's I'm going against myself. Get in the car. Nah. Boy, stay home. Mm-hmm. It's not there for you. Yeah, yeah no excuses, all adjustments. Yeah, I posted them in at the podcast. I never made it. Look, sir, this be certain. Look, I couldn't make it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my first thing tell me not to come. What you mean? I can't complain. Look, let's reschedule. It. And if it don't reschedule, it was meant for you not to be there. Like. So that's how I just live my life. There's always something. There's always that, that gut feel. People have taught themselves to ignore that. My brother taught me, saying, your doctor thought I was on lonely nights. You'll learn. Mm-hmm. He said another thing, though. He said, uh, when you grow, when you, like this how I felt when I was really getting on, when not your bank and I know I was ready to turn up or not, it's getting that feeling like you're a basketball player, like you ready to make the lead. Uh-huh. Yeah, they all on you. Family don't, yeah, family mm-hmm. mad at you, not cutting no bag yeah. or nothing. He's like, bro, the first people that's going to leave you is family. Right. My real brother telling me this. So that's how he had to feel himself. Yeah. It's always that best friend right there that always grow what you do. Everything. Mm-hmm. They know. They believe oh, it's me. times you got to pause on life with everybody. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it's growth stage. Yeah, yeah I'm going to come back and get you, though. So that's what I did. I doubled back and went to go get my guy, Cuffy. Yeah, we was we didn't do business since 2019 with each other. I doubled back when they go get him. Yeah, this is a food truck. This is a truck. This is your truck. And it's a man for it. All you got to do is manage it. We're going to go half with the clips. I right. rather make 50% of something than 100% of nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think they caught that. Yeah, I've already made 50% of something and 100% of nothing. So put your man on. Right. You yeah, put that girl that's next to you. Mm-hmm. And this is why I teach the young people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we always pull into a home or something. No, put that girl on. Mm-hmm. Get that advice from her. Right. Give her something. Yeah, she going to turn up with you for real, real life. Stop having irrelevant conversations. Always have beneficial conversations. That's going to get you somewhere. Get straight to the point. Become certain. Mm-hmm. Certainty matter. Give it to you. If you want something, I want this. I come, baby, I want it out. Mm-hmm. Try, yeah. <laughs> Try to get busy. I'm trying to menage. <laughs> yeah, get busy. Cause it's like this, like I don't got no time, baby. Like you no, gonna feel the one I'm trying to get married to. Listen. I'm ready. I ain't no time to play. And yeah, straightforward. If it ain't, and that's when people start catching that niche of who they really are. A lot of people go to identity crisis. Yeah. yeah. So when that identity crisis, you gotta be able to wake up out of that identity crisis, what you're going through. Mm-hmm. And a lot of young black and brown people go do identity crisis, trying to figure out who is I'm. What is I'm really going to do? I don't want a job. I don't want to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship hard, chat. Yeah, man. She ain't no plan. Ain't no game. You already lose real money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't even know about certain dollars I lost. Yeah, food waste and all. Yeah, throw all the steak away. Yeah, throw all the chicken away. Oh, we sell it. Yeah, throw it away. We can't sell it to the people. Yeah, the food game is real. Yeah, don't play. Don't jump in this lane. If you ain't ready. Mm-hmm. That's what I tell people. So why is it that you feel like like so many black and brown people do go the, through these identity crises? Because ain't nobody really teach us. No, we we wasn't taught. Mm-hmm. 
when you had a right when you had a right commodity, when you had a right structure, when you had the right influences, when you had the right information. Yeah, they burnt it all up. They threw it away from us. They took it away from us. So to be able to grow, you know, we have to go invest in those mentors. We gotta spend a dollar now. We gotta go buy books, we gotta go to school. We have to learn these things, nobody gave it to us. So now it's just, you gotta pay for it. You got to. It's not, it ain't getting trickled down to us. It ain't getting passed out. Grandma had this, no. They burnt grandma business down. Mm. It couldn't get passed out. Yeah, grandma had to put a house up for mortgage. Her son got locked up. So things like that, cause people ain't had the right influence or information to give to their children. So what you doing right now, you gonna preach that to your kids? I'm just building, no, nah, cause you never know what my kids want to do. You might want a job, you might want to do sports. Mm -hmm. You got life now, you know, you don't know what the kid might be. Yeah, old manhood change your life. You never know, so touching that topic, you just gotta let people be who they are. And that's based on what we came down to about your, about your certain advice to the kids. Yeah, so. and um, I got a, I got a company right now, and I think camera's still rolling. I got an LGBT company right come out. It's called the Greedy Waffle. There's a whole rainbow on a waffle. Yeah, and for those kids that don't feel free to be able to work in the environments. Yeah, you free here. Mm, yeah, get real brand ambassadors. Yeah, because it's the, it's the world now. Yeah, the kids and all that. Robin just came out. He was bisexual. In comic books. Yeah, so look. I know I'm straight and I'm going to give y'all something. Yeah, I'm a real man. Yeah, this is this a job for you. This is how you want to provide for you and your family. Yeah, this is a real life. Yeah, people get off that topic. Yeah, take care of them, cause it's not only the little boys, it's the young ladies. Right, right. Yeah, they don't. No, yeah, they don't even want to deal with niggas. They deal with a girl. <laughs> you worry about the young nigga trying to fuck your wife. It's the girl hitting your wife. <laughs> what you doing? So all that type of thing. Like, yeah, she turned your wife on. <laughs> so, I mean, no, but it's true though. Yeah, it's really true. true. And I think it's important that you do that, especially like I feel like. Uh, Especially in our community, right. people try to like stray away from like teaching that to their kids, and it's like if you don't teach it yeah, to them, yeah. get, put them to at least know what it's it certain is. Certain bathrooms transgender, like it's, yeah, yeah, that's like it. Gender fluid, gender fluid. Or, so you gotta gender teach your kids, you gotta teach the not even your kids the influence to the youth. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, this that yeah, girl boy, boy girl. Cause they gonna grow up with girls kissing them girls and boys yeah. kissing little boys, and gonna you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the real. What is you giving them? So I don't play. Yeah, I done had all type of. Yeah, this girl, she, yeah, she gay, she work here. Yeah, this guy, he gay, yeah, he work here. Yeah. I want to see. Yeah, I'm putting you right in the hood where I was at. Y'all got a young gay kid, yeah, he the manager. He working it. Yeah. Killer, what's up with you? <laughs> hey, guys, you know, hey, yeah, what's up with you, Killer? <laughs> Yeah, ain't nothing. He working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying I can take your order. Trying to get that chicken. That's all he's doing. Yeah, I mean, because they, yeah. there are people like yeah, it's it's the, the young black like, girl. You ain't say nothing about the Lord that girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. like they still yeah. people. This gay guy, yeah. <laughs> Play with him. He got all the girl and he got hands. Yeah, really beat you up. Yeah. Stop playing with him. But I applaud you for doing that. Yeah, so yeah, I give him, I give him job true. opportunities. You know, um, I like to make people feel uncomfortable. Got to. Yeah. There's a quote saying you got to be on I like to throw, uh, yeah, look, how you all feel? You ain't going to let them take your order, but you can't even get something to eat. What's up with you? Right. Yeah, why are you That's the real question. Like, so why I, are built, you? I built a brand for that called the Greedy Waffle for the, um, because nobody, I, I believe nobody really gave food to them. That's a billion dollar company. I know that's right. I did yeah, that, my brother. Shoot, before, um, I'm going to cut you Like, who you know that got LGBT food company? Like, yeah, that's our food. Nobody touched that, mm. that market. Yeah, I got something for them. It's gonna be a food truck, get it wrapped and all that. The ba the ambassadors, I don't gotta touch it. It's the ambassadors. It's that pride and all that. Mm. Yeah, they getting real money. Yeah, the bank account don't got no agenda. Don't. I don't need to cut you off, cause you, we gotta, we gotta stop. You might be giving them a little bit too, too much, much free game. Give it to so him, man. Too much free game, man. So what Give you it got, to him. Yo, man, before we get you out of here, I want you to just drop. What? Social media. Oh, you already uh, and then drop whatever you gotta do. I mean, let before I let you go. You already know, man. Denzy Killer, D I N Z Y K I L A. Instagram, Facebook, Art Williams. Everything. Nacho Bangers, Nacho Bangers dot com. Nacho Bangers Instagram, Nacho Bangers Facebook, Nacho Bangers Twitter. Everything. You gonna see the brand. You know the name. Let's build, y'all. It's a bagger for real. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> said, and on that note, we all kings and queens, and we all millionaires. And we out. We out.
just wanna spend my life with you all day. You say that you love me, is it?